with Cynthia, the vegan sleever. Uh, I am an ISSA certified uh, fitness coach, nutrition coach, and transformation coach. And I'm here with your weekend challenge. So this weekend, Dr. V wanted us to work on our neck muscles. So we're gonna be doing some stretches. Now with any type of exercise, I want you to get confirmation from your doctor to begin if you have any kind of bulging discs, vertebrae issues, or anything in your neck, okay? So with that said, and also always start slow. Don't take on too much too fast because we want this to be a stretching exercise and a strengthening exercise, not a painful. This should never hurt. It always should just feel like a really good stretch. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a side to side tilt. So you're gonna keep your shoulders level and this ear is gonna go to this shoulder. So you're gonna go this way and it should just feel a really good stretch. And if you can go a little bit further, you can. But again, I want you to make sure that this is not painful, that it's just feeling like a good stretch, okay? And then the same thing, I want you to keep your shoulders level and you're gonna to go to the other side. The one caution I have for you is don't tilt forward, don't tilt back with this. It's like you're trying to touch your ear to your shoulder, okay? So that's the first one. The second one is to put a little resistance with it. So you're gonna take your hand and lightly touch your head and just pull down a little bit. Again, you should be feeling a stretch, not pain. And then just hold that for about 10 seconds. Okay. And now we're going to go to the other side and do a nice little stretch. Don't mess up your hair though, because you look good today. I don't want you to mess up your hair. All right. So now the next one is going to be a head back. So you're going to put your finger here so you can feel what you're doing. You're not pushing with this, but I want you to keep it here so you can feel the movement. So what you're doing is you're just pulling your neck back. You're like trying to create yourself a double chin here. So you're just pulling your neck back. I'm going to go to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So now you can see. Just pulling your head back like that. You're going to do 10 of those. Okay. That's going to strengthen all this back in here. Okay. So the next one is going to be uh, side to side turns. So you're going to turn and look over the shoulder and then back to center. And then you're going to turn, look over your shoulder, back to center. And you can do like 10 on each side. You know, we're all on our phones and we're all on our laptops and we're like this, we're like this, and we've got to relax all this. Okay. So the next one is going to be up down knots. Now try these seated because you can get a little disoriented with doing these, but you should try these all seated in a relaxed, comfortable place. Okay, so what you're doing is you're just gonna take your back, head back as far as you can go. And then you're gonna come down as far as you can go to your chin, to your chest, as far as you can go. And then you're gonna go back And then come back down as far as you can go. And you can do like 10 of those also. So that's your weekend challenge. Again, is to get some stretch, some range of motion, and some movement in your neck. Have fun with these, but again, they shouldn't hurt. They should just be a really good stretch. And if it's feeling a little tight or a little sore, heat or ice really helps too. But anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome 4th of July weekend. Try these out. And I will see you next week. Bye.